In today's video, I'm going to show you how to open two apps by touching one icon on the Galaxy S9. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now this video is going to cover the new feature called App Pair that was previously introduced on the Note 8 and now is available on the S9 and S9 Plus. There are a bunch of other multi-window settings that we will be reviewing today. So first thing, how do you get to a multi-window app? So there's a few ways to do this. First, I wanna head into the Edge panel. So if you don't have the Edge panel up, make sure you check that out. And I'm gonna to go to the Apps Edge. So right here, it is showing some quick shortcuts to different applications that we wanna use. If I select the plus right here on an empty spot, I have an option right here to add an app pair. So an app pair allows you to take two supported applications and open them at one time. So here are a bunch of applications that I have either created or are already preset. So maybe you want to open the Play Store and Gallery, or maybe you're watching a YouTube video and navigating at the same time, you can open both of those apps at once. So here I'm going to tap the Create App Pair button, and now it is going to give me all the applications that I can add together. So let's say I wanna open the calculator, and Excel at the same time. So there we just tap the two different apps that we want. And here the calculator will be on the top when I open that up. But if I'm gonna switch it around, I can just select switch just like that. And then you can clear it and add two different apps. So once I select done, it is now going to add those to my edge screen. So you have them right here. So now if I select back, it has now saved that. Now this does stay in the apps edge. So if you ever want to go to that, you have to go to the apps edge to open that back up. And you can see how easily I just tap on the icon, it opens both of those apps at the same time. Now, if I wanna close the multi-window apps that are open, I need to drag this bar all the way up to the top and it will close that out. Now let's do this another way. So to create this one where I had opened YouTube and my messaging app, um, I've recently been learning all about how to improve my YouTube channel and Mark has been helping me out. So make sure you go and check out his channel right there. But I do want to head back into my home and we're gonna show you how you can open up a multi-window app. So if we head to the recent apps button down here in the bottom left of the phone, and then right here you will see this multi app icon. So that is on all the apps that are supported. So here in this YouTube studio app, that is not supported, but all these other ones are supported. So I just select that on YouTube. And now it is asking what is the second application you want to open at once. So I would select app list here, it's going to pull up all the apps that I could use. And then I would choose whatever app I want. So there I'm going to select Play Store. And now I'm using both of those applications at the same time. Now, if I want to create the app pair, in the middle here, you have some options. So I just tap right there in the middle of the multi-window app settings. And then right here, we have the plus with the home. Now that will create your app pair. A few other things that you can do is pin part of the application to the top. You can change which is on top and which is on bottom. And then here you can pop them out into a pop-up app, and I'll show you that in a minute, or you can close out the application. So let's go and select the app pair, and now it has added that to the home screen. Sometimes you will have to go to a different window to find that, and right there we see YouTube and Play Store. So if I tap on that, it opens them back at the same time. Now while in multi-window, and you select the home button, you'll notice that at the top we still have YouTube open. So I could drag that down and make YouTube full screen, or it is waiting for me to select another app. So let's say I want to open the phone and call somebody, I would just select phone and now it has popped open that application on the bottom. If I wanna change what app is down here on the bottom, I just select the multi-window app and then I can jump back and forth between different applications. While in multi-window, you'll notice this blue edge. So that is the app that is currently selected and what is going to be controlled. So here we have the blue on the top and maybe I wanna watch YouTube while I'm doing other things on the bottom of my screen. I can select the middle and then click this pin window and that will allow me to pin part of this application on top. So let's pin that right there. I select done and now this will always be at the top. So if I wanted to play a video, that video will play right here at the very top of the phone. You can drag this down a little bit to make that window a little bit bigger. That's very helpful if you are looking at certain information at the top and down here you wanna have more room to do other applications. 
Next, let's show you what this icon does. So if we do the pop-up app, it will then pop up that top app into its own little window. So then I could minimize that. I can then make it bigger by tapping and I can close the application. Let me show you how you can easily use the pop-up app. So if I select the recent apps button here, and then on any of the apps that support the multi-window feature, I just need to long press on the app. And then down here, it says drag here for pop-up view or drag here for split view. So I've already shown you split view, but let's go and drag here for pop-up view. And now it has popped up that window. And we can go in and we can grab a bunch of these applications and pop them all out on their own. So you can have like a Windows computer, many applications open at the top of the screen. And now if I minimize all of these, you'll see that they start grouping together. So here are all my pop-up apps. I can quickly multitask between both of them. And then if I wanna take one back to full screen, I just select the full screen icon right there. You'll notice that when you are in the recent app icon, you see that snap window as well. So if I wanna snap YouTube again, I select right there, I can snap this part of the screen and it will always be at the top. And then down here it is asking what other application I would like to use on the bottom. So this is nice, you could still text and have your keyboard on the screen at the same time. And then here it minimized the top app. And then if I select the X, that will close down multi-window. No cool trick is if you go back right here, it has that multi-window already saved. So if I wanna open YouTube and Excel again, I just tap on the most recent app and now it can go back in and you will see both of those at once. Now, if you do not see the multi-window option, make sure you pull down your notification bar, go into the settings of the phone and head to advanced features. And then here we have multi-window. So this is where we can enable pop-up view on multi-window as well as use recent apps. So now a few tricks here is if you are in an app and you hold down the recent apps button, it will actually minimize that and then here you can select your app list for that application. Now the other cool trick that you can do is this pop-up view action. Pop-up view action allows you to take supported applications and simply pull down from the top corner and it will minimize that application. So you do have to kind of be off of the screen when you do this and then you pull down and it will then minimize that app very easily into this little pop-up view. And you can still resize those just by dragging the corner. That's about as small as you can get your little multi-window application. So you could have many of those open at once. Let me show you that again. Go into the message app, drag down from the corner, and it then shrinks that into a smaller app. And then we could minimize it right there. So now that you have an app pair here on the screen, it's just like any other application. You can move it around if you would like to. And then if you wanna create new ones, you would just have to go back in, open the multi-window, select the app pair icon and put them on the home screen. When you wanna remove one of these, you can just hold down and then select remove from home and then it will delete that app pair. If you did create an app pair in the apps edge, when you open that up, you can then quickly just tap the middle icon right here and select app pair right there to add that to your home screen. And there you have it. That is all the settings that you can do with the multi-window and the apps pair. If you guys have any further questions about how this works, please leave a comment below. And if you would like to see more videos all about the Galaxy S9, make sure you click the pop-up playlist on screen. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. And make sure you share this with all your other friends that got the Galaxy S9 as well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.